Let's say we're out on a out on a flat and we have a mat of hydrilla that's at this wall on this side over here. And the very outside edge of the grass is where I'm at. A lot of people think of flipping grass, they think they need to be at the mat. That's that on our on our reservoirs on Rayburn and Toledo Bend, that's not necessarily so. There is times when that that that'll work and I'll share that with you later, but most of the time, if the mat's at the wall, I'm at the very edge of the grass in clean, bare water. I'm going to sit my boat right around the edge of the grass, and I'm going to I'm going to take the big jig and I'm going to pitch it up in the grass, okay? But I'm not flipping to the mat. I'm flipping to the grass that's up, you know, not too far from the outside edge. And what you really want to look for is if you're going along through there on the outside edge of the grass, trying to keep your boat on the outside of the edge of the grass, is you want to look where it really gets prime at, is if you look underneath the water and you see stalks of grass coming up. It's what we call new growth. It's, it's grass that's growing, it's got oxygen in it. Normally you look down there and you'll see brim swimming around in it, and uh, that's where the life is, and that's where it goes down. Um, <clears throat> what I want to do whenever I'm doing that, a lot of people think, man, that's slow fishing. It, it really isn't. Okay, you got a question, young man? Yes, sir. I like to fish this technique in the summer, in the warm weather, yep, on the outside edge of the grass, yep. His question was, when do I do this? In the summer. Um, but what I want to do is I want to pitch this bait out like so, and I want to free spool it, okay? I don't want to be doing this, letting line out like that. When I pitch that bait out there, I want to pitch it out, and I want to spool enough line off my rod where that that jig is just going straight now, fast. And I'm watching it, I fished 50 pound sunline braid, seven six rod, six, a seven to one reel, and as that bait's falling down, I'm watching that braided line go down all the time. You're watching it go down, and a lot of times you'll see that line blink up at you. If you do that, just reel down, set the hook. There ain't no sense in, you know, seeing if he's there, he's got it, okay? Um, a lot of other times you'll flip in there and your jig will go down, go down, and your line will just keep going. And it's like there's no bottom and it just keeps going. He's got it at the hook. But a lot of people think it's slow. Man, that's it's slow fishing, but it's really not. You, what you're doing is you're making short pitches, let the jig go down, goes down, hits the bottom, I jig it up a few times, reel it back up, and I'm going to the next spot, okay? And I'm going down the edge of the grass line, and I'm not doing it slow. I'm, I'm, jig goes to the bottom, hits the grass, I'll pick it up, and I'm just going down the edge of the grass, just like that, constantly moving. Now when I get a bite, that's, that's when I slow down. But I'm, con I'm not looking for an individual fish, I'm looking for a school of fish. And when this happens, especially if you have a, a guy that's fishing with you in the boat, uh, it's very, what, what we call, a, when I said the line jumps, we call those line jumpers, okay? And, and, and when I flip in there and I got a partner in my boat and I see my line jump, I say line jumper. And he knows to get right back in there. I set the hook and usually when he flips in there, he sets the hook and a lot of times it'll just be like boom, 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 boom. It happens real, real fast. If you, uh, and what happens is, is you have like a school of fish down there, like say 10 fish, 